Welcome back to Z Tutorials, and today we are starting our course on how to make our HTML and CSS website, and of course using Photoshop to bring in some images and whatnot. And in the last video, I just basically gave you a rundown, told you what we were going to be doing, and showed you guys how to write divs. So if you didn't know how to divs, you definitely want to check that out. Um, showed you the difference between a div ID and a div class, and basically how to write it write it in the CSS. So hopefully by the end of this um, whole series you'll have something like my website that you can see in front of you there. And uh, it's going to be very very easy and very very simple and as we progress we're going to get more into advanced stuff. We might do a forum, we'll definitely be doing a contact page, um, our videos page, things like that. So if I pop on into the code view, you guys can see who weren't looking at my last tutorial, that if we look at the div, div ID, you name it and then you close the div. So first off you want to make your um, folder to hold all your files in. So locate your folder there. I'm going to put mine into tutorials. Going to make a new folder. Going to call this HTML and CSS. Call this whatever you want. You can just, I advise you putting this on your desktop so you won't lose it. So inside that folder called your website, you want an images folder and you want a CSS folder. And that's all you need. We're done now with our folders. So basically all your images are going to go into your images folder, your style sheet is going to go into your CSS folder, and then your um, index.html and video.html, your web pages, are going to be just outside that. So pop on into Dreamweaver here, and first off we want to make that CSS. So go ahead to that CSS down there in page type, click CSS, click create, just control S or file save and find that folder you saved it into. So mine was in Z2 um, tutorial HTML and CSS and inside the CSS folder I recommend calling it style or layout so I'm going to call mine style. Click save and then we can close that down. Now you want to create our HTML so on page type HTML no layout and right here we want to attach a CSS file. So you want to attach that file we just created there. So go and navigate to that file. Once again down to Z2, over to Tutorial, HTML and CSS. Inside the CSS folder we have got our style.css. So open that up, click OK. It's going to tell you it's going to uh, make it the root folder. You want to make a root folder that won't pop up for you. Click create and now we have our HTML document with our style sheet um, attached to it as you can see up there under the CSS styles. So first thing I want to show you guys is how to make that to a folder so that under your files panel everything will be there. So you want to go to site, new site. Now right here click on the advanced tab and under local info, the category, the site name, name it whatever you want, I'm going to call ours Geek Talk because that's going to be the name of our website. Don't ask me where I got it from, it just popped into my head. So, Geek Talk is going to be the name of our website. The local root folder is the folder that um, Geek Talk is inside, so that basically holds your images. And your default images folder is going to be the exact same thing but with images on the end of it. Select images and click select. Now, that's all we need to do for now. When you click OK, as you can see under our files panel here, we have our Geek Talk and then our site, our CSS and our images and when we open up our images in our CSS images will pop up there when we put images in. So pop into our code view and first off what you want to do is rename your title. Now it's very very important to do this at the very very start because you might forget so we're just going to call ours Tech Talk and that is going to be basically if someone bookmarks your site Tech Talk is what's going to come up on the bookmark. Click in between the body tags there and we're going to get cracking straight away by writing a div. Now remember I showed you how to write a div in the last tutorial. If you don't know how, it's very very easy. Div ID. ID will come up in the little drop down menu. Press enter. Name your div. I'm going to my name mine header wrap or no. I'll actually just call it header. And then open the curly brackets again and press forward slash and then it'll close the div automatically. So there's our div and if we go into design view, that's what we have, just a big box like a table. And it's basically set to auto expand because we didn't set the styles for it yet. So if I write some text inside there, 
random text it'll just come up inside it but we want this image that I made earlier very very easy it's just some text with a gradient on it in Photoshop I didn't want to bring you through the boring part of how to do that because I already did something like this in my last tutorial so go to file save for web and devices we want it to be a PNG because you can set it as a JPEG but I want mine to be PNG because I want it to be transparent on the corners because I've run the corners saved into the the website folder so mine is in HTML and CSS and you want to put it into the images name it whatever you want I'm going to call mine header click save back into Dreamweaver now and right in here select in between the two angle brackets and right under the common toolbar you want to go to insert picture now if the common toolbar isn't there it might be on the right here but if it's not there you can just go to window and common toolbar will be there and you just click on that so click insert image find the image you want and just insert it and now if we go ahead it'll put in all this code for us you can put in that code yourself if you wanted to but it's just easier to do it that way and I don't want to complicate things so if we preview that in our browser it'll want us to save it of course we're going to save it make sure it's inside your folder so mine's inside HTML and CSS we're going to name it index.html because that is what the search engines look for they look for HTML so there we go that's what it looks like in the browser and as you can see it is not centered but that is because we didn't style the div in our style.css so let's pop straight into our style.css document right here on the right click enter a few times and press the hash key for an ID and the period key for a class and as you can see ours is an ID once again we went over this in our last tutorial so mine's an ID so we're going to press the pound sign or the hash sign followed by the name of the div which is header open our curling brackets and close our curling brackets make sure it's curling brackets and not normal brackets because it won't work otherwise press enter there and we want to start typing away so first off we want to do is specify a height and a width press height, height will come up and you just press enter I want mine to be 110 pixels and then close with a semicolon that is always how you do it you close with a semicolon press enter again we want width, width will come up there you press enter and then it'll finish off the little um, the word and the colon and then you want to put the width and my width of is 980 pixels and then you close with a semicolon so now as you can see our div is tightly wrapped around that image because it perfectly fits that image but if we preview that in browser again we would notice that it'd still be stuck on the left we want it to be right in the center so back into our code view here and it's very very easy way this is the easiest way that I know of how to center it click on margin and margin will come up you want to click margin left press enter and auto then finish with a semicolon margin right equals auto basically it's going to auto it's going to bring it in to the center on the left side and the center on the right side which means it'll basically be in the center in the middle so that the it's very very easy it's the easiest way to do it and if we look at that in the browser there we go there's our header in and it looks pretty good it's just got a nice gradient tool and it's going to fade into white as we go down the page and you can edit that whatever you want guys I don't really mind put in a logo there make it original and I don't think we're going to do anything else maybe you want to uh, there's our div ID and it's a header and there is that now I know that this tutorial is kind of slow for you guys who kind of know what they're on about but this is just for the first one just to get everything in proper I wanted to go into detail now if you really wanna uh, if you really wanna edit stuff and make sure that you can see it proper go into your background color and that'll change the background color of the of the header div and as you can see there is red there behind the little curling because I put mine to transparent as you heard earlier so as I said sorry that this didn't go into a huge amount of detail I would have liked to go into more detail but I wanted to do it nice and um, uh, not too complicated and I didn't want to go through it too quick because for you guys who are beginners you really want to know how to do this properly in the next tutorial I'm going to really show you guys and speed on and the next one we'll probably get the content done so we'll have our nice content laid down and maybe a footer uh, and then we'll move on to putting in our videos embedding stuff maybe a contact page a forum anything you want if you want something specific done just let me know in the comments below um, it's very very easy 
if you want to change the background color just go to page properties under the properties um, window if the window isn't there just go to window properties and make sure that box is ticked so set whatever background you want there just mess around with it and click on the next tutorial there should be a little um, annotation there for you to go to the next tutorial and in that one we'll be doing our container uh, maybe our footer and then we'll be moving on and on so you guys will learn with us and no one will get lost and that's the main thing that people actually learn what they're doing and not just copy me like robots so thank you guys for watching I really do hope you enjoyed it please let me know what you think in the comments give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it I really do want some feedback so I know what to do in the future but until the next tutorial see you guys later peace out